Betty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Mexican cross. I take two fingers from the top and in the center I draw a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a rectangle. So that's one. I'm going to draw another one. Straight line, straight line, straight line, two. Straight line, straight line, straight line, up three. Straight line, straight line, straight line, up four. I come on the left hand side, I'm going to add another rectangle. So I go straight line, straight line, come in, connect on the left, and then a straight line, straight line down, straight line in, connect on the right. Inside each one of these rectangles, I'm going to mimic that line again. So I'm going to draw a baby one inside the larger one. On each one of the sections, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, so that each one of my spaces has the same line going around again. Now, in each one of the rectangles, I'm going to draw a baby circle, baby circle, keep going, keep going, keep going, baby circle. And along the edge, I'm going to do curved lines. So I go curved line, curved line, all the way down, come back up, curved line, curved line, all the way down. I'm going to do that on each one of the outside lines of my shape all the way down on the left keep going keep going and now at the bottom okay the last thing I'm going to come in is going to be up here in each one. Now I'm going to draw wavy, 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 wavy line connect. Wavy, wavy, wavy line connect. Wavy, wavy, wavy line connect. Wavy, wavy line connect. Sometimes I call these fried egg flowers wavy line connect and wavy 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 line connect. Now we're ready to color. Okay when we color the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color this inside flower red with a yellow center but all of the other flowers I'm going to do the outside section yellow on each one of these and I'm going to do the inside circle red so it's the opposite of what the center one is. Now I'm going to take orange and I'm going to color each one of my little frames on each one of my little rectangles all the way over down the whole entire section. Then last I'm going to come in with a dark blue and I'm going to color around each section of the flowers to make a really colorful Mexican looking cross. Now what I would suggest if you're little you might want to take your time on coloring. Maybe do the flowers one day, do the outside the next in a couple of sessions so you don't get tired. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my Mexican cross all colored in. I just love this one because it looks so bright and cheery. And this also gives you kind of a Mexican tile look. Okay, 
बाय बाय